Kali Ma Shakti Day. <laughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're at, <laughs> and you're listening to the Drop Culture Podcast right now. Uh, my name is Brock, and let's go around the circle here. Everybody say who they are. Uh, I'm Tyson. I'm over here to Brock's left, and uh, welcome. Hey, my name is Mitchell. I'm from uh, Michigan, and uh, my favorite food is pizza, and I would like to visit Paris one day. Bonjour. Hey. I'm Daniel. <laughs> Okay, welcome back, everybody. Dios nueva. <laughs> I, I know it was like French in a Spanish accent. It was awesome. <laughs> welcome back to the Job Culture Podcast. Now we we are going through a series of movies. They're all part twos, and we've we've uh, aptly named it uh, the uh, Drop and Deuces. So these are all movies that we've we've watched growing up and still watch to this day. And we have a very very uh, special lineup of movies. So if you've been paying attention to what we got, the first movie that we released was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Great movie. On this series, which first was a great in the movie. series of dropping deuces. This is the first that deuce that we dropped. The second deuce yeah. was Phantasm 2, which was an awesome movie again, too. It was a great movie. Um, not particularly... I feel we're going in a progressively downward spiral. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we, and uh, this... I get it. Well, this third one now is House 2, The Second Story. This movie right here has kind of like been with me for... Since it came out, pretty much. Since the very first time I saw it on pay TV. And I've always watched it. I've always tried to find it. It's one of those movies that, to test somebody's like metal in movies or <laughs> like what what they've seen. And you're like, hey, have you seen House 2? <laughs> and they're like, what's that? I've seen House. You're like, all right, You haven't cool. seen the second story? Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's the second story. Well, I, I had not seen it uh, prior to, you know, watching it for this particular podcast. Right on. Right on. But cool. I'd always seen the cover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a pretty... N- it was seemed abundant in um, video stores right. back in the day. For back sure. in the day, yeah. Then it died out, like yeah. after it came out. Like, oh, okay. Well, well let's kind of really start this off with like House One. Just kind of a quick rundown. House One was a was a cool movie starring William Katz. Yes, the greatest um, American hero. The greatest American hero. Yeah, that's uh, all enough said. Yeah, when I was a little kid, that he was like my favorite TV show besides The Dukes of Hazard. You know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. Um, as soon as this came out, or the first one came out, my my parents were like, "Oh, let's watch this movie." Also had Weird. Richard Mall from a uh, Night Court in it. Right, right, exactly. Oh. It was it was a Bull, Thursday night were? Thursday night TV um, extravaganza NBC yeah it type was, of a deal. George Wint. George, George Wint. From yep. Cheers, yeah. uh, it, it was just such a weird, weird fucking movie about a haunted house, um, and then the 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 creature effects were really cool in it, really big and gross and bubbly, and and it was all rated. Up. Yeah, it was rated R. Yeah, yeah, it was a fucked up movie, and you would not ever think that they would have come out with a part two to this, and why would they? Unless because they were doing like money. anthology, yeah. Well, I mean, you have a good premise. It's a haunted house, so you could have different haunted houses, right? So that's why yeah. this is the second story. Whenever this one came now out, there's like 75 of these movies. I think I don't know. I, I looked. There was like a whole bunch. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize houses, that. Yeah. I thought there was just two. I you ended. You can't in two. call it a house at that point with that many stories. That's that's a skyscraper. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a different story. But yeah. Oh, a whole different. Story. It was. It was definitely. Oh. This is different definitely house. better oh. than like. Um, like Exorcist Two, The Heretic, it's mm. definitely better than um, Wow, well, Poltergeist Two. Even though Poltergeist Two has a lot of really like cool creepy scenes, with Poltergeist the Two was fucking awesome. It had the creepiest person yeah. in any movie ever in it. Yeah, is that was, preacher? Yeah, especially when they're underground. <laughs> <laughs> He's like ah! <laughs> <laughs> sweating because they locked themselves in there to die. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's pretty sweet. Right? Well, I, th- I, I mean, thought it was good. I don't know. You think it's better than Nightmare on Elm Street too? Yeah. Oh, come on. The 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 uh, the uh, the that has Dean Stockwell in it. Yeah, I know, but it's like really bad. <laughs> it's, it's really bad, dude. The scene at the end. Don't of they the party? call it? Don't they call it the um, kind of like the. Uh, 
and I, I don't know a delicate way to say this, but the over homoerotic. Yeah, one? yeah, it was yeah. a homoerotic oh. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. Like there was some cool effects in that Isn't one. Isn't that too. the one that ends with the bus? Yeah, well, it starts then, with the bus. And, yeah. And is it the first one or the second one that ends with the bus and like all the lands falling away? That was that was the first one. That was the that, first that was one. A, there was a very first part of the second one. That's right. Where they they That's run right. across the deal. Yeah. The dude gets whipped with towels. The coach does in that one. Yeah, <laughs> like he gets spanked with what? towels until he's like, oh, yeah. it's so homoerotic. That's that's a deuce we're not going to cover. <laughs> yeah. so I mean, because he was literally a deuce. That does kind of drop in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it has kind of the same almost comedic vibe but this movie i would say is a lot more fun well see and at this time they were doing a lot of uh, comedy horror slash movies like um when friday the 13th part six came out um they really how do you say (laughs) they really were like going for that that tongue-in-cheek horror kind of a movie and that was that was i think this was produced by the same guy that did that one of course, uh, or most of the Sean S. Cunningham that did most of the Friday the Thirteenth movies, right. and when mm-hmm. Six was mm-hmm. out, they kind of they knew it, they embraced it, and that's again on in my top five favorite movies of all time, just because I was such an impression. It, it it made a big impression on me whenever I was sure. that young. Sure, and at this time, that's when House Two came out, and they they added a lot of the same comedic touches, music cues, things like that in this movie For that sure. they had in that Friday the 13th Part 6, which I watched that one the other day, and I, I must say somebody said to watch Friday the 13th Part 6 in black and white, and I watched the opening scene in black and white on YouTube, and it makes a fucking huge difference. Really? It is, really? A, it is a great way to watch it, and if you get a chance, you can, you can color correct your TV just to black and white. Um, you can take contrast up, kind of make it more of a, um, like a... Universal horror movie. That's what the guy originally went for. I digress. I know on you're that digressing, but I'm going to digress a little more. So, why did they have to come out with a black and white version of the movie we've been talking about recently? For Friday the 13th Part 6? No, no. The one that just came out with the black and white. You can get the monochrome version. Oh, you, oh. Mad Max? Yeah, Mad, Mad Max. Max. Yeah, yeah, the blood and chrome. Once again, you can just change your TV to black and white. Correct. And <laughs> yeah, but correct. that's kind Come of a pain, but they, that's but they, of a pain they in the ass, in. though, dude. <laughs> yeah, but they went in on that one, and they actually color corrected it. So it's like they the way the filmmaker wanted you to see it in black and white. Oh, okay. Well, of course, okay. yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you can make anything the other black one, and white on your just TV. just saying, why do I have to buy more? Correct. Well, the <laughs> yeah, other one that yeah, comes with it now. The other one that comes to mind is The Mist, the two-disc special edition of The of the mist came with a black and white version and Frank Darabont in the beginning of that even says, I prefer this version. It's not necessarily my director's cut, but I have cut, you know, like you just said, made it into like more of a monster. The way, the way they see it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's how he, that's how the director of Friday 13th part six, he saw that in his head, like a universal horror movie and the way that he filmed it with the lighting and everything. It really does make sense when you watch That's it. So cool. I'm gonna have to watch the whole thing like that. Right on. But anyway. he was a producer on this movie. Yeah, yeah. Sean S. Cunningham. Sean S. Cunningham did a lot of horror movies. Um and I mean he started with Friday the thirteenth, the original one. Um and then he added the the comedy elements. He left the the Friday the thirteenth uh whatever you call it, the franchise really early on after I think part three or maybe part four. Maybe five. I think it was around there because five was like the really, really weird one where it wasn't really Jason. It was somebody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, it was the, the dude's father. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. 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 It wasn't the, the it was the fake Jason. What that yeah. Was. <laughs> yeah. Was fucking bullshit. But they have, the, but they have, to get back into the House 2 part of it, they really had this comedy element where they were doing all kinds of movies in 85, 86, 87, 88 that had the horror elements and the gore. <laughs> But with the comedy stuff to keep people that weren't really into the horror part of it, kind of was a tail end of that renaissance. Uh, unfortunately, I will say that as we've talked about how horror and um, humor tend to evoke the same kind of response within your, sure. you know, um, it doesn't necessarily always work when you put them together. Mm-mm. No, it doesn't I mean, necessarily no, no. always work. It's not. It has to be. One or the other, pretty hardcore, I think. Kind of. Uh, they can get away with it nowadays. Sometimes I've seen it more in recent movies, like the remake of Evil Dead we were talking <coughs> yeah. about. Sure. That's a, still a dark oh, horror absolutely. movie, yeah. but there are some yeah. kind of dark comedy parts. Oh, and you would, you I would, would say that's probably the best example in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah and, and I, I, I just thinking of that, yeah. Evil Dead 2. 
um, Evil Dead One, Army of Darkness. Those were the first comedy horror Ooh, movies. Armored, Army of Darkness would be a good example yeah. too. They were good comedy horror movies, and mm. they came out all about I the didn't same time. I did not find any you know? horror in Army of Darkness. Yeah, that's no. True. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, come Evil on, Dead the Deadites, Evil Dead, and Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah. it's big. <laughs> they were Army, funny. So Dude, when I, he no, goes, no, they yeah. were funny. Yeah. I yeah. love <laughs> Army of Darkness. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying I found no horror in it. Like yeah. Evil Dead Two, Evil Dead yeah. One. Yeah. For sure, it's kind of yeah. creepy when the when Ash gets like du- duplicated or whatever. The other <laughs> yeah, one that's comes fucking up. great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't find that scary at all. I was like, this is fucking amazing. Maybe when I was you're a good kid, Ash <laughs> and I'm bad <laughs> Ash. <laughs> that was a, that was just an awesome. And all movie. the little ashes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was kind of freaky, but that was great. Yeah, they had they had some they had the elements in it, but they they took it to the extreme. Now this one didn't really take a lot of the comedy elements to the extreme. No, didn't it's a really weird, it's a weird tone. It's it, definitely a weird tone. It is it is a munchies kind of a tone. Yes, it yes, is it is a is tone perfect. like those movies like that, you know, like maybe not even the darker tone of Gremlins, which Gremlins no, had that no. darker tone. Gremlins was a way yeah. better movie. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, I yeah, know, <laughs> it's one of the best. It really is. I I it's I a think great I, Christmas movie. Well, I, th- I think I first saw this movie again on pay TV, probably recorded it. My dad recorded it or something, but I watched it so many times, and it grew up with me. I and think this is one I watched on HBO Cinemax when I was really right. young. And it's still there, and it's always going to be there, and I think they've only really released a couple of versions on DVD, and then possibly Shout Factory's got a version of it too, um, or one of the newer companies that is that's doing like the Shout Factory stuff. So, you know, behind the scenes, everything like that. And real quick, um, if you're if you would like to watch this while we're talking or after, um, it is free on Tubi. Yes, yes, um, which is a great app. We mm-hmm. we'll talk more about that another time. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that app, guys. Yeah. We'll give you a pause if you want to watch the movie if you have never seen it and download Tubi. You don't even have to set up an account or anything. You just gotta download the app real quick and then just search House Two. Okay, now you're back. Now you're back. You've got it <laughs> queued up. That's great. So mm-hmm. awesome. So get watching while we are talking. So let's get into this deuce. Let's dig in. <laughs> let's dig straight into <laughs> let's this. Let's dig deuce. into this deuce. Uh, let's dig into this. Yeah. Let's start. With, let's start with the overall production people in this. In this cooler movie. if we did. It was this movie was directed by Ethan Wiley. Now Ethan Wiley did a lot of movies. He wrote the original House. He wrote this he one. He wrote this one, yeah. And he also did Children of the Corn 5, <laughs> Fields of Terror. As we yep. all know, I've never seen because it's past two. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of just straight to DVD it looks yeah. stuff. He, got, he ended up directing and, and in the future that yeah, after, after yeah. this movie. And, and then produced, again, by Sean S. Cunningham, um, which he did all the Friday the 13th, almost all of them. Jason X is when he kind of came back after Jason went oh, to Manhattan. Oh, sweet. Um, which is another fucking one of those kind of tongue in cheek comedy horror movies, right, you know. Right. A lot of good deaths in that. I one. really like Freddy vs. Jason. That one I actually yeah. like. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. that. It was good fun. Yeah, yeah, and they they had that on the slate for a long time. Yeah. But then the story was by Fred Decker. Yes. Now Fred Decker Ooh, um, does so many good. He, he his stories and his screenplays and everything were were immersed in the eighties big oh, time for sure. Um, yeah. He did. He really helped write the new Predator. Yeah, he's a him and uh, Shane Black are good yeah. buddies. Yeah. Um, RoboCop three, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I wish I wish people would give that more of a chance. Uh, yeah, Night yeah. of the Creeps, House, Monster uh. Squad, and then Ricochet. Ricochet was one of those movies. If you haven't ever seen Ricochet, with um, uh, it's got uh, John Lithgow and Denzel Washington. Um, really freaking awesome movie. I, you know, I, I see the cover in my head. Yes. But I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever watched it. I don't think it. I've ever seen it. You need one. to watch it because okay. Denzel Washington at this point started making action movies, and this was his first one, and it really did a really shitty job. The tone was really cool. It was a diehard, darker tone type of a deal. Um, and uh, awesome that's a Christmas way. movie. Yeah, and, the, and I think this one was even set at Christmas, too. I, I don't really remember it um, too, well, too well. But... Um, John Lithgow is ruthless in this movie. He's a Dude, badass in it. Awesome. He's the villain in uh, Cliffhanger, too. Yeah. And uh, and the thing about Ricochet is after he did Ricochet, he did um, – Denzel Washington did one more action movie, Virtuosity, with um, – Oh, the, I love that movie. 30-odd-foot grunts. Yeah. Russell Crowe. But, yeah, Russell yeah. Crowe. And 
he stopped making them because both of those movies didn't did not really make him money no, and really were, kind of pissed him off. Yeah, they he, were critically panned. So he know. stopped making action movies until he kind of came back with like the Equalizer and a lot of this. But other if stuff. you get a chance, well, even before that, I would say like Man of Action. Yeah, 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 in the yeah early he kind of. But those yeah. were more drama driven. Yeah, I'll buy Then they were more action. Yeah. And these were more were action. Man on than Fire. Drama. What did I say? Man of on a, Man on Fire. Man on Acid. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I think I said Man uh, of Action. Oh, he did like Deja Vu. Yeah, yeah. With he, Tony Scott. I mean, he was working yeah. with Tony Scott. Well, so he was working in, in a different kind of a field with it, um, which was really cool. But if you get a chance, Virtuosity is, is awesome. Yeah, Virtuosity is I used to watch cool that movie, movie. Yeah. all the time. Dude. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, now, the music was by Harry Manfre- Manfredini. <laughs> Fre- Manfred- Manfred- Fredini. Yeah, yeah, Manfredini. Yeah, Manfredini. Yeah, Manfredini. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's, he's done tons of stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like... He's he did Jason Lives. List, yeah. um, but this one in particular... This movie and 